where are you from? I am from Colombia. I am from Colombia. I'm from Colombia. I'm from Colombia. What do you do for a living? I have two jobs, nanny sister. The other one is sales assistant. I am a yoga and Pilates teacher. I work in exportation with Italian company. I'm working like a nanny. If people from Colombia want to come to Malta, what advice would you give to them? I don't want to live in Europe. I want to live in Colombia. You cannot come here and recover in for two or three years because Malta is not that bureaucratic. They are so slow being in the process and they implement any law. Being in your position, how much we can make per month? I never, I didn't calculate that, <laughs> to be honest. Are you comfortable with that money? I am not. No? That is why I'm living Malta. <laughs> okay, but how's the dating life? For girls, uh, it's pretty easy. Most if they come from Medellin, okay. we are good in, in bed. For dating, if you go to English school, Easily. For dating, you are going to English school? Come on, wait! And you are going there to learn English. Fake teachers are there. Simp guys in Malta, there are a lot. Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm going to find only Colombians. They are a lot in Malta and I'm going to find them to ask different questions. How they are living here, what is the life experience they are having, how they make money, how they are spending, investing. Is it even affordable for them to live here? So don't forget, today's video sponsor is you as always and also Valex property. If you want to purchase your property or you want to sell it out, your direct body is here. Reach out to me, we will help it out. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. We go to interview them. Your name, age and where are you from? Laura, I am from Colombia. What do you do for a living? Uh, I have two jobs. Uh, the first one is with the house Maltese, like nanny sister, mm -hmm. and the other one is sales assistant, uh, part time. Sales assistant? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So, being in your position, how much we can make per month? With both, uh, one thousand two hundred. Is that enough to live comfortably in Malta? Hmm, not enough. Not enough. No. But why? <laughs> Because everything is expensive, no? Like mm -hmm. the rents, groceries, and if you want to go out, Malta, you need a bit of more money. Why you go out? Then go, don't go out. Oh, of course, I need to go to travel to meet different places, no? If you make <laughs> less money, then why you are trying to go to travel or to spend money? Mm, cause because I'm Latina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it. <laughs> I like spending. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yes. What true. is your biggest splurge? I don't know. Where you are spending most of your money? Uh, clothes mm -hmm. and food. Clothes and food. You eat a lot. Yes. Delicious lot. food. Yes. Okay. So you are eating out in a restaurant or you are buying cooking yourself? Both. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go out to eat and sometimes I cook on, at home. Okay. How old are you? 27. 27. Are you single or in a relationship? No. What now? <laughs> I'm single. I don't want to meet someone now. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I what feel, happened? I'm, I feel very, very, very good. Uh, Being alone. single? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. You had bad past experience? No. No? Good? Was yes. good? Yes. You kicked him off? Mm. He was Colombian? Yes. Okay. But he's in Malta? No. That's good. Good for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you you left him in Colombia? Yes, I left him in Colombia. Wow, for coming to Malta? No, no. before. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> for, let's say that I want to get you, and what character I should have? Maybe uh, the person need to do like, think about the future, like mm -hmm. they want to know goals, like Goals. Yes. Okay. And do you know what you want to do in the future? Yes. I want to make family. I want to have children. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm sure I don't want to live in Europe. I want to live in Colombia. In Colombia? Sure. Yes. So, but what are you doing in Malta? Why you don't go? Um, how can I say? <laughs> I will leave Malta. When? Uh, soon. Okay, so you are going back permanently to Colombia? Yes. Wow, Malta is losing one more Colombian. Yes. That's not good. 
For people from Colombia want to come to Malta, what advice you would give to them? Uh, I think it's easy for us because we can make the visa easy. You no, know, like mm -hmm. you can pay for work, and it's easy you travel here in Europe. Mm -hmm. A bit easy? No. Traveling mm -hmm. only. Visa, yes. traveling, and what else? Learn English and the experience to go out the country. Mm -hmm. Did you learn English here or before coming to Malta? Uh, no, I'm, I'm learning here, here mm -hmm. a lot. Before, yes, I just uh, study my university and the school, but it's different when you when you go out, when you hear different accents, mm -hmm. and you need to speak, no? Okay. Yeah, that's important. Is Malta a good country in 2024 to come, to work, to make money? I think the time pass is more hard. Why? Before, before are more easy. Uh -huh. Now I know about the skill pass. You know, ah, yeah, 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 I know. It's a bit more hard if you want to come because it's more expensive for you make yeah. money. I understand. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Great to talk to you. <laughs> Was good. Everything good. Well, everything is good. You see. <laughs> Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Okay, Diana, I am 24, I am from Colombia. Wow, so what do you do for work in Malta? I work in exportation with Italian company. Exportation? Yeah, what with sports, <laughs> I mean, I, we export like fruit, vegetables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sports? Sport, importation, I export. Ah, okay, okay, spar. Eh, no, or no, export? Export, export. Ah, export. export. <laughs> yes. Okay, so like. you are like exporting fruit yes, and food etc yeah, yeah the how food did you find that job actually i came here to do the university i did some apprenticeships mm -hmm. internships and i managed to get that being in your position doing what you do how much we can make per year per year we can spend about 25 cake mm -hmm. i mean it's okay for the market okay and are you comfortable with that money I am not. No? That is why I'm leaving Malta. <laughs> ah, you are leaving Malta yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah I will leave. Why, where you are going? To Spain. Spain? Yeah. So what did you find in Spain? I'm my master. So I will continue my career there. I got confused because making 25k is not enough and you are going to Spain to study and spend money, not making money. No, I'm not spending. It's investment in my knowledge because mm -hmm. as soon as I finish my career there, they will give you a like, you know, position on the market because there is the, not much people who speak English and Italian mm -hmm. and I managed to speak three languages and at that time maybe four. So I was thinking maybe I can get 40 cake. But uh, yeah, that is why I have a project, you know, I don't want to keep it working, working for nothing. And I already mm -hmm. managed to save some money. That's great strategy. So, Let's yeah. break it down. How much are you going to spend for your study? I got a scholarship, so I will pay uh, 5000 Yeah. 5000 per year you're going to spend for your study? It's just one year, so I already... It's one year pay, program? Yeah. yeah I uh, you will study only one year, yeah. then that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, and after you know that what you are going to learn from that university? Yeah, I know. I will study innovation and creation for companies because mm -hmm. I study business administration here, and yeah, my plan is to be international co to have an international consulting, so mm -hmm. I can manage to position startups for any country. Okay. So, so do you want to start your own business? Yeah, I want. It. I actually start kinda one business already, mm -hmm. but yeah. What type of business is it? Shout out, we can promote it. <laughs> Is uh, the name is Malta now? Is like English with purpose. So I managed mm -hmm. to position the students to follow an English path where they can uh, access to higher education, university, master. Because here the program, you know, everyone's to sell general English that doesn't mm -hmm. work for me. So yeah, you have so. different kind of English. Yeah, that's amazing. And people from Colombia, if they want to come to Malta to live, I don't know, like five, six years, ten years, what advice you would give to them? What should they know? They should know in with the same of their life they are because if they are like just coming to have like experience, they can come for six months and manage to have global perspective. But they want to immigrate to see a country with passport eyes. Malta is not a place to get it. Mm -hmm. So, and if you want to save money, uh, like you came here with a lot, I mean, a lot from the bank, you cannot come here and recover in for two or three years because Malta 
it's not that bureaucratic, they are so slow in the process and they implement any law, the, for example the skill pass. Mm -hmm. If you want to come as three nationality country, you need to pay at least like uh, 300 uh, application for Identity Malta, 475 skill pass. It's not working if you do like the five euros per hour, maximum A, if you are okay. Mm -hmm. And at the end, I have to ask this question because it sticks to my mind and I'm asking from everyone, like, you are going to spend 5,000 for the university to learn a business, let's say the business or some skills, instead of paying for a mentor who already succeeded in that industry, why you are not choosing a mentorship, you are going for the university to spend one year and then looking for a job? Because I want to have the perspective, I mean, the perspective from the Spanish market mm -hmm. where I can position also the Malta now company mm -hmm. to promote the English with purpose for Spanish people who doesn't manage to, to speak that much English. So, and also to have a mentor in the past, I kind of, they, they all, always want to sell, sell themselves and they, you need to, to pay for something that they don't give you a whole picture. What are your, like, I know I want to stay, to create and innovate and I am bad in maths. So, for example, he won't take the whole uh, amount of time to explain me one step by step. It's not that patient as a teacher. You can have a mentor, but he can know. He will get, give you that guidance as one perspective, or not like the teacher who already have like 20 years of experience, differences to them from any nationality. And I need to know that market, that is why. But of course, there is kind of mentor. But if I want one that is international, that he knows all the picture, uh, he wants uh, like at least 5,000 one year mentorship should be, but I prefer to be like, I mean, I am 24, I have time. If I will be 30, I will pay a mentor. Mm -hmm. I will pay for something like me that already okay. have that experience, you know, but yeah. this like, like try to understand in which position you are to take advantage of that. And yeah, now I managed to save that money. So I'm happy that I will do. Great. Great. And how's your social life in Malta? Because you spent six years and how was your life here? Did you meet any friends or foreigners or Colombians? How was the dating life as well? My life is kind of interesting because uh, in Malta, you know, it's so stressful to work and study at the same time. So I get in love with running. So I start to do some like um, um, uh, marathons, like half marathons. Mm -hmm. And I, let's say I convert in export girls. I am passionate about business, so normally I work, after I finish, I go to study at home. Like, I am really focused woman. I have some uh, students consultory, and actually I am with one of my students <laughs> we are having right. a friend like, from the long time ago. So, and I was even like Miss uh, Lua. I, I get the Miss Malta thing, uh -huh. yeah, so I was preparing with them, but I, I left because it's not the concept I want to follow because, you know, I am the girl who always want to show the girls how you can uh, be uh, uh, proud of yourself, like showing the people that you are interested in smart, and I, wa I wanted to break that the stereotypes of the beauty, but it's an industry that you can never break, mm -hmm. so I left, but I have that experience, like mm -hmm. I was with a lot of Maltese there, and... Yeah, let's say oh, yeah. It's, it's something going up at any time. Like I have friends from all of, over the world, like Japanese, uh, Italian, um, I don't know, Maltese, uh, Spanish, Mexican. Oh, they right. Tell me one country and I will tell you a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but how's the dating life? People are also asking. Daily, yeah. No, what did you no. understand? Ah, daily life. Daily life. <laughs> Yeah, it's also a part, it's also a part of the question, like a social life, daily life and also dating. I don't give focus for guys, but I will save you one something for a moment. No, not for me, and for Colombians coming for here Colombia to find Colombia. their significant others also. And because it's not like always coming here alone, they are maybe coming alone. And they, ah, they are with the expectation to find someone here. I will say for girls, uh, it's pretty easy, most if they come from Medellin or one place that they are speaking really like nice and lovely because guys get attached to that, more like Italian, French, they say, oh, you are from there, they speak me like that, and they get in love pretty easy. And they always want to have like experience with Latin girl because, you know, I am not agree with that, but the songs and the music always say like we are good in, in bed and those things mm -hmm. that... That for me is a like, silly thing, but I, 
And there is this perspective that the girls want just to get an European guy to get the passport, the money, you know. But it's the truth, it's the reality, we need to say it. Yeah. Uh, and did you find anyone? No, I get options, but I am focusing myself. I want to go even Spain to get the passport mm -hmm. because for me, the guy can offer me nothing. I can do everything by myself. I mean, I can meet to challenge me. I get my university, now I get my master. I am smart, so if I want uh, sex, you know, I can go passively and I will get any guy. Wow. <laughs> but I, it's like I can eat better for me, like. They keep the focus and maybe with the time I win someone, but but forget it's pretty easy. There is Tinder, there is, uh, I don't know, Babu. I don't know, you know. <laughs> there is the English schools. <laughs> every English schools? English school because every Monday different people, you know, you can like easily get... Is it uh, online program or what? No, 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 like uh, for dating, if you go to English school, easily... For dating you are going to no, English school? Wait, listen. Come on, wait. <laughs> you are going there to learn English. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean in the sense that you will meet a lot of people, no? You never know. Like you are in English class and you... Fake teachers see. are there. Simp guys in Malta, there are a lot. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, you never know where is love. Is in but a you know. Party library. I am single, I already five years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great to talk to us, <laughs> Thank you. and we appreciate to you share your it. experience. Yeah, and your people also will appreciate it. Name, age, and where are you from? Hi, I'm Lina. I'm 28, and I'm from Colombia. What do you do for work in Malta? I'm working like a nanny. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it your full-time job? Uh, no, it's just for part-time. Okay, you don't have any full-time. You just came here for part-time job? Yes, for part-time uh, for study English. Uh, okay, you learn English? Yes. Okay. But why did you decide for coming to Malta? What specifically reason you had? And I want to improve my English mm -hmm. and I discovered new people and new cultures. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are paying for language school. Is it affordable? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. I like it. Being a babysitter or nanny, how much can we make per month as a part-time worker? It's not too much, just 400 per man. 400 per month? Yes. Is that enough for you to live comfortably? Uh, not really. I need, <laughs> I need another work or another job. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking for actively? Yes, I'm okay. looking and for. And what is your qualification? I am a preschool teacher. And you want to find a job in Malta as a teacher? I like it. I, do, you ha, do you have a plan to stay here like a long time? I just want to improve my English and then let's see where, what the opportunity jobs I can find. Mm -hmm. If not, that is okay. Right, great. <laughs> and what is your monthly expenses living in Malta? How much do you pay for rent, food or for your language school? Say 700 euros. 700? Yes. 700 euro you pay for your rent, food, and rent language school? Just rental food. Okay. The course, an English course, I paid before. How much you paid for your language school? Uh, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Was, I need to change my, <laughs> the currently. So is it so more than 2,000? I think so, uh, yes. Okay. How much money you spent for coming to Malta? Uh, actually, hmm, more than 4,000, I think. What did you pay for 4,000? Uh, the course on English, the tickets or flights, and they were rented the first month, and yes. Okay. Is it worth of your 4,000 paying and coming here to stay longer time and even working sometimes part-time? Is it worth it? It's not working mm -hmm. right now, but I decided to leave the experience and that's why. Okay. <laughs> you are sharing your apartment with someone? Yes. Okay. How many bedrooms do you have? Uh, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms and you have together two people living? Yes, I live with other roomie, like uh -huh. in the same bedroom. In total, how many people? Uh, in total, five. Five people in two bedroom apartments? No, in three bedroom apartment. Okay, three bedroom apartment, five people living there. Yes. And how much do you pay for rent? 400. Okay. And people from Colombia, if they think to come to Malta or go another country, what advice you would give to them? Depends whoever is your plan. If you want to improve your English or if you want to travel or if you want to 
just work. Mm -hmm. It's I think all depend of your goals. But if you want to improve your English, it's a good thing because you can discover new people or you can practice with someone else and just speak in your language. Um, but if you wanna, if your idea is work in a full time, you can see another option maybe. That's great. And how about the life experience in Malta? You are finding friends easily or dating life? How is it? <laughs> and I think your friends is good, you, especially if you're studying with people, you can make connection very fast. Um, yes, I think it's easier, but yes, all depend of you. <laughs> yeah. yes. That's great. And thank you very much for giving us your speech. Okay, hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Naji. Uh, I'm from Colombia, and my age is 30. Damn it! That's cool. So how long you are in Malta? Um, it's going to be three years soon. Nice. Well, what do you do for a living? I am a yoga and Pilates teacher. Wow, mm -hmm. this is your full-time job? Yes, it's my full-time job. Maybe is it your business? Uh, yes, it's my own business. I, I build my own brand. That's amazing. We have to promote your business. Shout out. Uh, well, my, I don't think they, they know how to write it, but uh, my business is Najib Rocco. You can find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's N-A-Y-I-B-E-R-O-C-O. -O. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, yes. how did you decide for starting your own business in another country? Uh, well, I started when I was uh, in Colombia. Uh, I am a biologist as a profession, but mm -hmm. I decided to uh, change my career because I want to have a more healthy and easy life, and this job allows me to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, I like to work with people. So um, I think the impact that I can have in their lives is more direct and fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also, uh, health is also part of uh, my own life. You know, with my job, I take care of my own health. So that's something that I really like. That's nice. And you want to stay in Malta for a long time? Uh, yes, I do. I plan to stay here in Malta. I already find the routine here that I like. I like the island, I like the slow life, I ride my bike and uh, yeah, I, why not stay here for the moment. That's mm -hmm. great. And being in your position as a business owner, how much we can generate per year? Uh, well... <laughs> oh, she is getting interested right now. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I, I, I never, I didn't calculate that, <laughs> mm -hmm. to be honest. Because it's too much, so you are losing your numbers. Exactly, exactly. You can, you can count only till the billion. Exactly, exactly. Okay. You, you, you see me riding my bicycle, but mm -hmm. you don't know how much money I have on my account. So. Wow, <laughs> how much you have in your bank account? No, no, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Is it six figure? Uh, no, no, not really. No, five figures? No, but but why? Why? Why we're speaking Our about channel money? is all about money. <laughs> ah, your channel is about money. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Well, uh, for me, um, if you can cover uh, the expenses of a comfortable life, and if you have enough money to still uh, do some fun things mm -hmm. like travel and going to parties and share with friends, give. Uh, give uh, some gifts mm -hmm. and if you have a savings uh, in case of emergency at least for six, mo six months then you're good then you're rich from my perspective nice opinion and how do you invest your money I like not so uh, risky in their investments because to be honest I don't know a lot about like uh, crypto or these type of things mm -hmm. so uh, what I do is I um, well, I save some part for emergencies and the other part that is not for emergencies, I try to invest it in um, uh, things that don't change a lot. I don't know we, with the, I don't know how to explain it in, my, in English because this is not my first language, but with the banks you can put uh, this like in um, companies that invest in other companies and they don't put a lot of risk in this. So I do that, and right now I'm going to invest in um, property, but in my own country, because mm -hmm. uh, here in Malta is not that easy for me. 
So that's how I do it. So you are in the process for buying your first property in Colombia? Uh, yes. Or you have already bought it? I used to have one, but mm -hmm. I sell it to come to Malta. So I want to uh, well get back the, the property again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me understand it. Three years ago, you had your own property in Colombia and yes. you sold it for coming to Malta to start a new life and your own business. Is yes. it worth it for selling your property and then you are starting your business making money to invest in a property? Uh, for me, it does make a lot of sense because mm -hmm. the experiences that I have here in Malta are completely valuable. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, if I build it once, I think I can build it again and better. So why not? Amazing answer. Man, I'm telling you, that was a big answer. <laughs> when you say about investing or selling, buying, why you are focusing on in case of bad cases, in case of accidents, or in case you get sick or emergency? Why not for the good times? Because uh, as a yoga teacher, I can tell you that uh, the change is uh, the only thing that never change in life mm -hmm. and uh, you can expect always the best things to happen but at the end you cannot control the people around you nature you cannot control destiny or whatever you believe in and you can see this all over the world you see that there, there were a lot of people happy in their homes and suddenly war comes or they get sick or they need to leave because the weather is not nice mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest, this is uh, the world. The world can change from one moment to the other. And if it catch you with the pants down, then it's very bad for you. So better to um, always have a base. And uh, as I always say, surviving is not the problem. You will have safety, but then you need to do with the rest. Just experiment with it and try to find the different options because this is the only way to live. Amazing. And at the end, if people from Colombia want to come to Malta, what advice you would give to them? To speak a lot with other people that already go through the experience because when you come and you don't know uh, how to do the things, you end uh, wasting lots of money in mistakes that can be avoided. So I just ask uh, to the people that already go through it and I'm sure they are going to give you the best advice from the bottom of their heart. Amazing. Thank you very much. Good You're luck. Welcome. Yeah, guys, I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too. You heard a lot of great advice from people and also you saw how people live in Malta or generally the life experience in Europe. How is it? So don't forget today's video sponsor is you as always and also Valex property. If you want to purchase or if you want to sell out your property in Malta, your direct guy is here. You can check my channel to see what properties I am listing and also I'm making home tour for you. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.